one of the best ones was the first middle Sunday that we played because of the bad weather the first week. We got to Friday of the first week when we hadn't completed the first round of the men's singing. So during Friday evening and Saturday a big discussion and eventually I said well if the weather forecast is reasonable we have to play on Sunday. Because if we don't play on Sunday we're going to go way ahead. Um, after the final day, and instead of finishing on this second Sunday, we'd be finishing on Tuesday or Wednesday. So they agreed. And of course, there were huge queues outside Wimbledon as soon as it was announced. Opened the gates at, I think they opened the gates at 10 30, and the first matches were 12. And it's the first time I've ever seen the centre court completely full when the first ball was hit at 12. Mm. and it was still completely foot and fall at 9 o'clock that night. But nobody dared move, because if they moved, they lost their seat. They lost their seat. Yeah. <laughs> and then, as people came in, they all went towards centre court, that was full up. So then they went to number one court, that was full up, then they went to number two court. And the atmosphere was just absolutely incredible. It was all the what you might call the real genuine tennis public, you know, who had difficulty getting tickets to go there. All of a sudden they queue for a few hours and they just pay a nominal sum at the, the gate and in they came. They had a ball. So that to me was, well, it was very good because I mean, I think I was the one that pressed for it and it obviously helped an awful lot of people to see them. Did they get the final finished on time? Oh, yeah. They always get it finished. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At the end of time, it didn't finish on the right day when I was there. Was um, Rafter and Ivanisevich because when Ivanisevich beat Tenman, but it took three days in the semi-final and it kept on going. <laughs> Suddenly, it gets to the finals day when there was just about a set, a set to, to play of the Ivanisevich match. And so the committee of Wimbledon said, well, you go and talk to the players actually and tell them that they're going to play, finish that match in the more Sunday morning and then the winner will come out and play the final in the afternoon. And I said, you've got to be joking. You know, it's probably the most important match that they played in. And also Rafter, who was waiting to play the winner of that match, he didn't know what time he was going to play, so he couldn't prepare for it. So I just said to the committee again, I said, okay, well, I'll go and talk to the players. I'll get the players on the phone, I'll talk to them, see what they think, and uh, I'll come back to you. And I knew exactly what all three of them were going to say. Even Isovich said, well, after I've won, I want to play on Monday. Hedman said, after I've won, I want to play on Monday. And Rafter said, it's not fair to make me wait all day Sunday thinking I might play, so I want to play Monday as well. So they played Monday. <laughs> so, I always said when I went there, I said that my door is always open if you've got any grievance or because in the past it's always been very difficult to talk to the referee. And I said, sort of, yeah, I said my door's always open.